So my final race of the week then is the Paddy Power Maiden Chase. It's a two and a half mile chase this time on the top one is Dark Shadow for Ryan Costello. Harper Lodge, Paul Rose, Petrocelli, Miria, T. Rogers, Copycat Ball, Alex Cherry in the nick of time. Joshua Sutherland, near do well for Kevin Minahan. Sambarina Elliott for Paul O'Neill and Satonia Demure for Hems. So just eight in this one then. And called in. I want to start his orders, and they're off, as Julian Wilson used to say, and very short run of the first, and good jump on the outside by Copycat Ball. I've seen that one straight into the lead. We're in the nick of time on the inside second. They're nice, nicely grouped. We've got 16 fences in this one. They've already taken the first. This is the second, the first ditch, and a good jump at the first by Copycat Ball was followed up with a slow one at the second. So, yeah, grouped up like a a mile race isn't it this one seven furlong sprint with copycat ball next to the third jump that one really well good jump as well by harper lodge in second near do well it's just dropped to the back but it's been another action pack week this week and you've got yourself your first winner just another five or six races to go after this one and we'll be i'll be handing over to Stu for the last few races of the day of the week those hunter chases, but there's only got two runners in, which will be interesting. He'll get a chance to get a few things off his chest, no doubt. Have a waffle and tell you all about the strange course that it's being run on. He'll done his research, no doubt, and, and now all sorts of things about pork pies and bits of cheese and things. As they come down to the fifth, and then of course, he's got the well, it's really big jump race, I suppose, the Milka Pada Beaker, where they jump over railings and ploughed fields and all sorts and I really enjoys that one as a fall there it's Satonia Demure gone so Hems's interesting day over the sticks continues with seconds thirds horses bolt into the post and now faller so it's a bit better in Stu's races uh, copycat ball is the leader in the nick of time is second and near to well has moved through into third San Marino Elliott is fourth then Dark Shadow and Harper Lodge and finally Petrocelli Merrier the back marker so we've already had Inspector Bergerac today, now we've got Petrocelli looking out for Quincy tomorrow as they take the water. McLeod, we can have him as well, couldn't we? Ironside and all them. Somebody in the name of their horses after 70s detectives. They take the next. There they go, they're all safely over that one with Copycat Ball in the lead. In the neck of time is second. And near do well third, and Sambarino at fourth as they take that ditch. We'll stream over that one nicely. Getting a little bit strung out now. Copycat Ball is taking them on really well. And leads by a good five to in the nick of time second. Near do well is third. Sambarina Elliott is fourth. And then Dark Shadow is fifth. Harper Lodge sixth. And Petrocelli Merrier is seventh. Satonia de Mule, the one that's departed the race. They're inside the final mile now, and over the tenth they go. I'll we'll drop that one nicely, and they're in perfect Indian file now, with Copycat Ball in the lead, in the nick of time second, near do well third. Sambarina really at fourth as they take that next one. Good jump there by Sambarina really at seeing that one jump past near do well into third place. But it's still Copycat Ball showing the way home, with six furlongs still in a race. Still a good bit of jumping to do in the nick of time. He's going particularly well in second, though. The leaders weren't all that perfect over that one, but they got over that ditch okay. And copycat ball by a couple. So in the nick of time, who's three up on San Marino Elliott, who's two up on Near Do Well. As they come down to the 13th, and over that one they go. With the cameraman again struggling to get them all in shot. And it's copycat ball in the lead from in the nick of time. San Marino Elliott, Near Do Well. Still running on again in fourth. And they swing towards home then net. Still got three to jump. And copycat ball in the lead. In the nick of time. San Marino Elliott looks to be going really well. So too does Near Do Well. I think we can probably forget the rest. It's copycat ball in the lead as they come to the third last. Gets over it nicely. Good jump by San Marino Elliott in the nick of time as well. The rest of them are in okay. All of a sudden copycat ball being swamped now. Then by in the nick of time and San Marino Elliott. And Near Do Well over the second last they go. Copycat ball is beaten now. It's in the nick of time from San Marino Elliott. In the nick of time. San Marino Elliott over the final fence. And in the nick of time. San Marino Elliott. Then Near Do Well. This is going to be another one for Joshua. As they race up towards the line, in the nick of time, is going to take it. San Marino 
Peter Elliott is going to be second. Mia do well will be third. Then Copycat Ball, a long time leader, fourth. Harper Lodge, fifth. And then Dark Shadow just being coloured by Petrocelli Merrier on the post. So that's me done for the week then. I'm going to hand you over to Stu in a minute for the final races of the week once we've checked the card. And make sure I haven't made any mistakes with who owns what or anything. In the nick of time, comfortable winner. For Joshua Sutherland, Paul O'Neill second with Sam Barina Elliott. Near do well for Kevin Meenham was third. Copycat ball for Alex Cherry was fourth. And Harper Lodge for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs>